Hi everyone. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video about audio settings for the Zoom app. I've had a lot of questions over the past couple of weeks about this and hopefully I can help you uh, clean up your audio a little bit, make it a little more usable for online lessons. First of all, with Zoom, uh, you're never going to get amazing audio going through it. It's just not set up for that. You can get usable audio, though, and we'll take a look at some settings. So uh, here we have the opening screen on the computer app. Um, I have not used the iOS or Android apps very much. I've mostly used it on my laptop or desktop computer. So let's take a look here. The biggest thing is to go to settings and you want to go down to your audio settings here. When you join a meeting on Zoom, and we'll do this in a minute, it asks you to um, whether you want to join with computer audio. And yes, you do want to do that. Go to your audio settings and test your speaker. I can hear that on my headphones. I can see the signal going through. I generally want that same as system. That's what I want it to be set to. In the case of my microphone, I have a USB microphone plugged in. It's a very inexpensive one. And right here, you definitely want to uncheck automatically adjust microphone volume. You do not want that box checked. If you need a louder, this is to take your voice and your instrument going out going out to whoever is listening. So you can adjust that there. And finally, go down to Advanced. You also want to disable Suppress Persistent Background Noise and disable Suppress Intermittent Background Noise. Gives you very odd cutting in and out of the audio. I have not found a way to turn off echo cancellation. If anyone knows how to do that, I would love to hear it. Um, I also check this box option for enable original sound. Um, I have not found it to be terribly effective, but I do uh, turn that on as well. So that's your settings. Let's close that out. Now let's go to a new meeting. And here is where we have join with computer audio. That's definitely what I want to do. And there is uh, our meeting. If you're already in a meeting and you need to adjust audio, you can go down here by the mute button. This lets you select your speaker. I generally do same as system. And then select your microphone as well. If you need to get back to that audio settings page, go right there. It takes you back to that same page we found before we joined the meeting. You've also got other settings here. Um, recording, if you want to record your session, which if you're teaching lessons, I highly recommend you do. Uh, it gives your students a record of it. It also gives you a record in case you, you might need that. Um, you can choose where you want to store the recordings. If you want to change that, uh, it can be very handy. Um, finally, statistics uh, just tells you a little more about, about what you're doing on your meeting. Most For most people, it's not really that useful, but sometimes it can be handy. So that's it from Zoom. Uh, if Oh, the other thing, if you need to end a meeting, sometimes it's hard to find where that is. It's always down here in the bottom right corner. End meeting and either leave meeting or if you're hosting, end meeting for all takes you back to your home screen. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck teaching. Good luck with your lessons. Uh, if you need help with anything, feel free to drop me an email, chris at clarkmediaproductions.com. Thanks a lot.